all right then so let's see the way forward how we can work within the account section to you know this is really great feature altogether you have to you know manage your account either you are using a premium you are using um, a lifetime you are using monthly or you know yearly this is really important so how can we really achieve this <coughs> first of all we just have to go to the controls as we did then we just have to organize the user so we say ctl my account let's say ctl account all right so once we have this just try and work within um, this let's just work around this all right then let's just add up um, the color okay just add the color perfect and what we're going to do from the account section is um, just gonna copy only these two guys and I just paste them here just add them here then instead of scan sender I'm just gonna say user accounts okay so user account is either you log in or you create an account right is either you log in or you create an account so if you want to use an online platform to do that you know that's fine you can do that but if you want to use um, how do I say this if you want to use the subscription plan if they want to subscribe to your platform maybe uh, you want to use my SQL you know backend to work along with this that you know that's fine but if you want to you know handle the monthly subscription yearly subscription and all that that is fine but in this case I just want to manage um, only their subscription plan right uh, so I'm just gonna add a profile here and I'm just gonna add their email and um, they are activating status or let's say ad ad activated activated status and their validation and all that right so what I'm gonna do actually is just to go here and I'm just gonna go to the account section so let's just go to the home I need this I'm just gonna copy this right come here and I'll just paste it in here so I just extend it just do it like this like this and I'm just going to say um, my account activation status will be here so I'm just gonna add up a group box just like that yep okay so I'm just gonna add up a group box um, and with a group box I try I, I will just leave um, just clear all the text for the group box here perfect and I'll just extend this just like this and I'll just add one here copy paste this so let's see what we have here just gonna say 25 uh, it's very big let's make it 20 let's make it 18 okay so what I'm gonna do is say I'm just gonna say um, there's gonna be um, activation email right okay so activation email then I come here then I say you know um, validation validation all right then after the validation I just add one more that is gonna be um, expiry perfect so we have these three things just gonna highlight them just uh, make sure everything is kind of cool 
just like this so I'm just gonna copy and paste one here but I would just have to set up um, the auto size to false then I just extend it because um, you know the names and the emails are gonna be long so just set this to um, dash for now since there is nothing to provide yeah there is no email so I'm just gonna copy paste this one more time and paste it one more time again there you go so I'm just gonna save this whilst nothing is you know related to that so um yeah I think I really want to use this as um, the validation but this is actually fine and if you want to you know add logins you know sign ups and all that you can really do that so I can just say um login or create an account so i'm just going to go to the um privacy section then i just copy the two of them like this let's just copy them come here let's just paste them here so i say um this is going to be login this is going to be create account right okay so I really believe this is done. So let's just build this solution and uh, everything is going to be quite awesome. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's just come to the account, double click on the account. Then we're just going to say CTL accounts one dot bring to front CTL account one dot visible equals true basically we've not added that so let's go back to the form let's go say ctl then we say accounts just bring it up here there you go perfect so let's just send it back and that should work right so we go back to the pra um to the to the um codes to see if there is any error so there is no error that looks perfect so let's just start this and let's see what happens right so let's see what we have here there you go so we have the scan privacy and scan preferences system pref um, performances sorry then we have the account so we can log in or create an account you know depending on what we want to do so we can either you know redirect them to a different website or we can just add up a pop-up where we can use sql to pick up the details we send it to the database and all that but i'm not going to tackle that right i'm just going to tackle only the redirection so if you want to go to the stand to do that you know you know how to do that you should be able to know how to do that if you want to hire someone to do that that's fine and also with the preferences we're just going to go to the preferences and then the help basically the help is going to display um uh, what i want to do is when i click on the help i just want it to redirect me to um, some certain website or um i'll just bring the person to somewhere or i can even you know decide to get rid of the settings so with the preferences as well this is quite interesting with the preferences as well we can use um okay so the preferences i don't know should we you know really work on the colors and all that i don't know i don't know i was just hoping to see if uh, we can work on the colors and all that but i think um i'm good with this so with the preferences and then the help i don't think is really needed so let's just add um okay let's see let's just add the settings button here and the help button here instead of you know placing them here so let's just get that fixed right so good what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come here then this guy is going to be here just like this there you go then the help also going to be here 
okay so the help and then the settings right so i have those two guys here so basically i just have to get rid of these guys so i can either hide them or i can just you know delete this delete this as well so let's select everything and let's just undo that let's just bring them back down perfect okay so let's go back to the coding let's see if there is any error here so we don't have this let's just take them out okay all right okay so we just have to do some little cleans up here since we are not adding any of these we just have to take them out okay come down here okay that's cool so yes yes so yeah let's test it out and let's see how it actually looks like now so we have the settings and we will have um, um so yeah there you go so we have the help here and uh, we have these guys here so my account i think this is quite interesting now okay so um we were we were working on the login account and th that's really cool so with the help i think we will just have to we will just have to be redirected somewhere right so with the settings we just have to create a settings form which will just handle some some little things so on our next video that is what we're gonna do right so on our next video we're just gonna tackle the settings and everything is gonna be awesome right guys okay so with no further ado let's let's meet on our next lesson have a nice day